Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we will gonna discuss how we can perform git operations with source tree. Okay, uh, so what exactly is source tree? So source tree is a git GUI. So it's a graphical user interface for git. Okay, if you'll see in the screen, uh, here is this UI where we can easily perform any kind of git operations. In git base, we need to have, we need to type that git commands to perform different uh, git operations. But in uh, source tree, we can easily do those things with very uh, quickly. As this is a graphical user interface, just we need to perform uh, by clicking some buttons or elements. Okay. Uh, so let's see how we can do all those operations like uh, cloning a repository and committing some changes. Uh, pushing those changes to remote repository again uh, taking some changes from remote to our local all those uh, basic uh, things we'll gonna see okay so uh, first we need to install this source tree in your local system so i will give this link to the link in the description section you can take this one and you can download based on your operating system and then you can go for windows or mac okay so already i have installed source tree in my uh, local system let me open that one and i will show you that user interface okay so this is very uh, useful if you are not aware about all those commands then this is a very useful tool for you people okay uh, so let's first see how we can clone a repository okay this is that uh, UI and this is the screen if you'll see. So here that clone button is there. Okay. Just click it here and you need to give that URL of the repository. So I have a sample URL. So this is my GitHub account and here uh, let me take that uh, link and let me paste that link over here okay so it's by default taking that uh, documents folder to store that project okay now let's hit clone yes that project got cloned this is one way we can clone that repository otherwise if you have already cloned a repository in your local system and you want to import that project to source tree then you can do like this so if you'll see here one add button is there just click here and browse that path where your repository is there for example for me in documents folder there just click that repository and select that folder automatically it will appear here let me do if you'll see it's appearing that uh, repository as well okay so here multiple repositories we can have you can open multiple repositories and you can work simultaneously with them okay now let's move to git back uh, git basic example so let me go to documents and git basic example where is that one git basic example and let me open some file abc.txt so let's have some new uh, line let me remove all those stuffs source tree tutorial okay i have added that one now let's go to the source tree and we'll observe the behavior okay so if you'll see in file status in file status you can see here on staged files so abc.txt so we have added we have changed something to abc.txt that's why it's appearing here let me add some more files over there new text file sample dot sorry let me rename that one sample dot txt will have
xmple sample.txt now let's go to source tree and we'll see just see sample.txt also it's presenting so if you'll change anything to your repository or if you have added some java class or you have added some files or modified some files all those will reflected in unstaged files okay so if you'll click here file status it will show all those changed files if you have added something or if you have changed something okay now let's see how we can commit those files if you want all those you can click stage all or else you can drag those files to the staged files okay so i have dragged them to this staged section area now once you have dragged those files to here just you need to provide your comment okay so this is the commit message not comment commit message you need to provide so sample sample commit message or source tree source tree tutorial okay so ideally we need to provide a valid commit message always for all your commits so uh, for the later point of time if you'll see those commit message you can have a understanding or your teammates can have an understanding what exactly uh, that commit is okay let's commit so if you'll see here push changes immediately to origin master currently we are in master branch so just see is this is a dot kind of thing is there right so uh, which branch you are in so that uh, on the that branch it will show this dot okay so if you want to push after commit immediately you can click this push changes immediately okay or else if you want just committing now you can do simple commit so i want to push these changes to a remote repository as well so let's have push changes immediately to origin master and let's commit okay so yes uh, it's done now if you'll go to this remote repository and if you will refresh that one it will show you sample.txt and abc.txt 18 seconds ago it's got changed okay pretty awesome so we have covered how to commit and how to push as well now let's see how we can take the remote changes to our local okay so let me go to this uh, sample.txt and i will add directly from this github sample message okay and let's commit but in my local repository this sample.txt have nothing no text inside that one okay now let's see how we can take these changes to our local repository through source code source code not source code source tree okay so here if you'll see so here if you'll see this uh pull is there right pull means fetch and merge so if you want you can have this pull origin master and pull so after hitting this pull button it will take the remote changes and it will merge to your local okay if you want to see updated sample.txt just see sample message and if you want to see in my local repository as well sample.txt just see sample message we got that one okay so we have covered uh, how to clone a repository and how to commit to how to commit that uh, code change code changes and how to push the changes to 
remote repository and how to uh, pull the changes from remote repository as well now let's see how to uh, how to check out a branch if you'll see currently it's showing only master branch now let's see a remote i have dev and head and master three branches are present here i want to check out dev branch to local how i can do that one just click here dev and check out origin dev and you can local run to track, track remote runs just okay now if you'll see currently it's showing dev runs we are in okay in this way we can uh, check out the branches we can take any remote branches to our local and if you want to change from one branch to another uh, how we can do that one just click so suppose currently i am in dev branch and i want to switch to master branch how i can do click here and check out master currently we are in master branch okay now let's see how we can create a branch from another branch so currently i am in dev and or sorry currently i am in master i want to create a branch qa or any other runs ideally uh, while developing application for each of our user stories we'll create a separate branch or uh, feature branch and we need to uh, create the feature branch any of that uh, dev or master based on your teams uh, uh, based on your uh, based on your team whatever your team is following uh, we can create that branch so let me create a branch from master here and i will show you how we can do so from which branch you want to create just go to that branch go to the branch means check out that branch and then click here branch okay so this is a new branch we are creating so current branch master so from master it will create a another branch if you want to create a branch from specific commit as well here it is there okay but anyway i will create from master so let's take as a qa if you want check out the new branch you can do that one so uh, you will be in qa now let's create this branch just see that qa is present okay so like this we can uh, create the branches and we can switch to different branches okay so if you'll see here this qa branch is already present in local but this qa branch it branch is not present in remote repository in remote repo in remote repository master and dev let's see master dev these two branches are there okay now i want to push that qa to here how we can do pretty simple just right click here and push to origin and then push okay we are good now let's go to here and i will show you if you'll see here all branches master qa and dev so qa recently we have pushed to remote repository okay so these are the basic uh, operations for day to day activities hope you got that uh, entire thing okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day